it's Liz from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you for joining me again today. Today I have got this little box project for you. It's so cute and it uses uh, the Tag Buffet stamp set. This is the one that goes with the Tag Buffet project kit um, but this is the stamp set that you get you can buy to go with that project set. Um, photopolymer, some lovely images, really nice font so don't just use it for the project kit. Um, this box measures two inches by three inches by one. Uh, it opens top and bottom. I don't want to undo the bow. It's just a pretty bow. Um, but the one I'm going to make, so this uses the Snowflake Splendor designer series paper and on pool party. And this is the pool party sheer ribbon from the Whale of a Time suite in the annual catalogue. And I just thought it all went really nicely together. Now, for the um, stocking, I used Pool Party and the light Bermuda Bay because one of the colours in the paper is uh, Coastal Cabana. And this is quite a good Coastal Cabana um, alternative. So, yeah. But I'm going to use different papers this time. I'm using the Tis the Season six by six paper pack and I've picked out this pattern with the candy canes on uh, and I'm using shaded spruce card I've got a piece of whisper white to do my coloring um, stamping and coloring and I'm actually going to do that first just so everything can set or rather I'm going to do the stamping first because I like my memento to be properly dry before I color uh, otherwise there can be smudging issues. So let's just ink up my stamp and I will be fussy cutting. It's an easy shape to fussy cut. So there we are, lovely image, ready to go. So this is the bauble, obviously. So I'll leave that to one side just to dry while I'm doing the rest of my uh, project. I have also pre-dyed a piece of the silver edged um, metallic edged ribbon again also from the annual catalog uh, and I've just used a dark shaded spruce uh, blend to color that so that can be drying as well so let me grab my scoreboard here's my simply scored so my piece of card is six and a half by six with the long edge at the top, so the six and a half at the top, we're just going to score at two, three, five, and six. Turn it, doesn't matter which way, because we're then going to score at half, one and a half, four and a half and five and a half. Okay, pop that back down away and need to burnish all of our score lines and I fold towards the mountain. I know I say this but it's it there's no harm in repetition. Um, after all, you might be new. If you are new and you enjoy paper craft videos, uh, do remember to subscribe. There's a subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Um, I do love people subscribing and commenting. Uh, I like to get a real bit of interaction going. Um, so this is going to wrap around like this. This will be the front, which means this is going to be the flap that we use to tuck in so we need to keep this straight so mm, can you see I'm hoping you can um, I'm cutting up the score lines but cutting into the rectangle and then wedging into the square and I'm going to wedge into this square Miss this, wedge into this square, cut this away completely, so 
don't know if you can hear, there is rain. I'm filming this fairly early in the morning and it is raining hard. Um, anyway, we have worse to come apparently, wedging into the other side of the square and then wedging there. Take off the fold or at the fold on the two small pieces. I've got a bit of a, got a, there we go. And then we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So wedge, wedge into the square, this being the square, this, I'm ignoring this, wedge into the square, wedge into the square, cut away this piece, wedge into the square, and then straight. Cut away my little pieces here. And this is the shape we are left with. So we've got the two flaps, top and bottom, and then these bits and our seam. Now I'm going to corner round my these. You don't have to corner round them. If you don't want a corner round or you don't have a corner rounder, just wedge very, very gently a small wedge out. But I like to um, I like to corner round. I have the trio punch, so getting myself all confused. That's what I want to do. So I hope you're looking forward to the weekend. Those of you that are working, I'm sure the weekend is something you do look forward to. I know I did when I was in the in the days when I was working full time. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to put my paper on first. It's much easier to put the paper on when it's flat. So a bit of seal. So my pieces of paper, I've got two each of one and seven eighths by three two and seven eighths which will be for the large sides and then seven eighths by two and seven eighths and those go there like that so let's just get this started there we go Do love our snail. I'll be using not snail seal. Right. So do remember you need to have all of your candy canes in the same direction if you've got a directional paper. I didn't wasn't a particular fan of snail. Um, as I said, it's raining this morning, and um, we do tend to be quite humid, as in we have a damp um, atmosphere around us rather than a dry atmosphere. We are, after all, in the UK. So, oh, so yes, humidity is a thing around here. And I'm not really good at damp. I'm much better at dry of anything. I don't mind if it's hot and dry. I don't mind if it's cold and dry. I don't like just humid and damp gets into your bones. So the other colours in this paper, other than obviously white, are um, black and garden green and real red, because the red on the candy canes is cherry cobbler. So it's a really interesting mix of greens and reds. Right, okay, so you can either use tear and tape or liquid adhesive or seal plus to go down your flap. You want that to be as near to the crease as you can get it. And all the way down, there we go. 
And then if you've got any of these little bits sticking out, can you see? I've got a little, just flip it in. And then lining up your score line and the edge of your box. Like that. And then just give it a good press. I like to fold it so that it's on the edge and then give it a good press. And then all you need to do is pop your sides in and pop your... Oh, need to trim that down just a little bit. I do find sometimes you do need to just trim the edges a little bit. Yes, you see I haven't actually gone to the edge of the score of the score line there. I've left a bit of the score line on. So just pop that in like that. Now if you want you can just put a little nip with a small uh, circle punch so you've got a thumb hole. It's personal choice. I may have to trim this as well. No, that's better. I deliberately haven't done the top and the bottom with paper because that's where my ribbon's going and that's going on next. So this is your back because that's where the seam is. So let's just feed this through. I do love that we can colour all of our doing this upside down, back to front, that we can colour our white ribbon to get any colour we want. Oh, it's, it's going to be one of those bow days where my fingers aren't going to do what my brain want them to. No, you see, I'm doing it wrong again. That's the way, that's the way. <laughs> Good grief, it's only a bow. And then just adjust my ends. And then have that so that it's pretty and in the middle. And just trim our ends a bit. There we go. So there's our bow ready to go. So all we need now is our bauble. So I've got cherry cobbler, shaded spruce and the colour lifter. The colour lifter is quite important for this one. So first thing I'm going to do is colour the middle with my light cherry cobbler. And I'm going to leave a white stripe round the bauble because there is an obvious white mark, white, you know, line. So I'm going to leave that uncolored. So I'm literally just coloring in. Now you can use the brush end if you want. And then coming round, oops. in with the, and shall we come in with the brush end, like that. And there is a very faint light part in the middle, but to accentuate that, as if it's catching the light, you can come in with your colour lifter, and then just come back in with the light again, just to blend that in. There we are. And then we're going to repeat the process top and bottom. So light shaded spruce. Keeping that white 
line. Dark shaded spruce. So as ever, there will be pictures of both boxes on my website and you can get to that by following the link in the description bar to the associated blog post. So it'll take you straight to the post for this project. And do remember that we have the um, designer series paper sale on at the moment. I can't remember if Tis the Season is one of them. Aren't I dreadful? I know that Snowflake Splendor is... Well, no, is it? Is it? Is it? Let's have a look. Uh, Tis the Season is, and so is Snowflake Splendor. It's almost like I planned it. So both of them have 15% off for the whole of October. So do remember to stock up. There are a huge number of papers that are in the sale. So, great time to get all of your stock back up. Okay, so I am going to just add a little bit of Wink of Stella, particularly to the white areas. but also to the areas that I used the colour lifter on. And I do like to just clean off my the tip of my Wink of Stella between colours because it can sometimes lift the colour off. Right, OK. So yes, do please make the most of the designer series paper sale. If you're in the UK, there is a link to my online store in the description bar. I would be thrilled if you would try out my customer service. I've had some really wonderful testimonials from my customers saying how much they enjoy my customer service. So why not give it a go? Um, I only sell in the UK but I do have team in Europe as well. So if you are looking to buy the starter kit, you can join my team. So, right, one dimensional, I think, is all we need on the back of that, or maybe two. Let's be generous. And then we are done. So there's that one. And that one. So there we go. Two cute little boxes. I'm thinking of these for stocking fillers. And you can put little sweets and things in. Jewellery, always nice in a small box. So, yeah. Let me know which one you prefer. Do you prefer the shaded spruce and the bauble or the pool party and the stocking? If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And as I say, if you would like to subscribe, it's in the bottom right hand corner. Hop over to my website and you'll see a list of all of the products I've used, as well as the dimensions. I will try, can't promise, I will try to uh, work out dimensions that will work for um, metric. So, yeah. Okay, thank you very much indeed for joining me again this morning, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye!